to a judge in Florida to secure that search warrant of Mar-a-Lago to go in there and remove the classified documents that they found. That document last summer tells very much uh, much of the story that we also see in the indictment about Walt Nada, about what he is accused of doing related to obstruction, and also about the false statements he's accused of making to the FBI. He's not named. He's named as an apparent witness at that time because he had been talking to the FBI right around that period of time in the summer of last year. But all of these details we're seeing in the aff affidavit that was released now that the indictment is out, this affidavit from last year, it's why they needed to do this search at that time. They had talked to Walt Nada uh, by then, and he had said, you know, there weren't really uh, boxes that he could remember moving, but they also had surveillance video of him moving boxes at Mar-a-Lago, and they realized at a visit to Mar-a-Lago that federal prosecutors were seeing boxes in this storage room, but they knew that there should have been more there, and they actually wrote in the affidavit to the judge, video footage reflects that ev evidence has been moved recently, the current location of the boxes that were removed from the storage room area, but not returned to it, is unknown. And so that's the reasoning that they were giving the judge, one of the reasons.